hey y'all welcome back and welcome if you are new my name is sam and welcome to my channel today we are going to be making two easy and delicious desserts they are so good we're going to be making my butterscotch brownies and my pumpkin spice donuts so let's just get right into the video Okay guys, so we're going to start out with some delicious pumpkin spice donuts. Now we're going to make the icing, uh, the glaze that goes on top later. So I will get all of that out later and show you what you're going to need. But for the donuts, this is everything. So I've got some flour here, just regular all-purpose flour. I've got some sugar. You can use whatever kind of sugar that you prefer. I'm going to do cane sugar. I've got some brown sugar here I've got some avocado oil now you can do vegetable oil or any other kind of um, neutral oil that you like or have on hand baking soda baking powder vanilla cardamom some salt some pumpkin pie spice some maple syrup 100% pumpkin. Now make sure you get the 100% pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie filling um, because this is just straight up pure, straight up pumpkin and an egg. So let me get you guys set up and we will get these donuts going so I can get them in the oven. Okay guys, so I went ahead and measured everything out and I've got everything situated. The only thing I've got to add is my, um, my oil, vanilla, and egg. In this bowl, I've got my flour, my pumpkin pie spice, cardamom, baking soda and baking powder, and a little bit of salt. In this bowl, I've got my pumpkin, maple syrup, brown sugar, and regular sugar in this bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this up till it's well combined. Mix this up till it's well combined. Add the oil, vanilla, and egg. Make sure that's all combined in there really well. And then I'm going to add the wet to the dry, mix it up, and then I'll meet you back here. And we will put these in the donut pans. By the way, I've got my oven set to 350. I've got my donut pans greased and ready to go. I've got those on a baking sheet. So we're gonna get this moving. We're gonna get these in the oven. Okay guys, so you've seen me mix up my batter and I just put it in a Ziploc bag, release all of the air from the bag. So all I'm going to do now is just snip off one corner. Doesn't have to be too, too big, just big enough for the batter to come out. The bag cooperates, I'm going to set that there. And now all I'm going to do is take my batter and squeeze it into each one about mm, just a little less than three quarters full and uh, we'll get these in the oven. Oh my 
So I've got a little bit of batter left. So this is going to make probably another half batch of these of um, six. So what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I just went ahead and patted down all of the like, little rough edges on the donuts that were sticking up. So these are going to go in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes just until a toothpick comes out clean. Um, and then we will take them out, let them rest in the pan for five minutes, no longer than five minutes. Um, and then we will turn them out onto a cooling rack, put the other batch in the pan, pop them in the oven, do the same thing. And then we will let these cool completely. While these are cooling, we will move on to making our brownies. So let's get these in the oven. All right, guys, these just come out of the oven. They baked for about 15 minutes in my oven. Um, it probably will vary in your oven. Just keep an eye on them. Um, you can stick a toothpick in uh, one of them. If it comes out clean, very, very little crumb, then you're good to go. So these are going to hang out for about five minutes, and then I'm going to flip them over and um, turn them out of the pan onto the cooling rack. We will get the other batch into the donut pans, get those in the oven. And while those are cooling, we will move on to making the brownies. Okay guys, so I've got the last batch of the donuts in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our uh, brownies. So this recipe is coming from my antique book. This is the Fanny Farmer cookbook. And this is the butterscotch brownies right there if you can see it i will leave this linked in the description box below so you can click the link and it'll take you to the book hopefully they still have some in stock um, if not um i will try to find the recipe online for you guys and link that down below but anyways for the brownies like I said, we're going to make the butterscotch brownies, and this is everything you're going to need. So I've got some flour here, just regular all-purpose flour, brown sugar, some vanilla, baking powder, salt, egg. This is some homemade butter that I made not too long ago, um, so I'm going to use some of that. And you're going to need some nuts of choice. Now I'm going to use some pecans. I'm going to go ahead and chop these up. Um, before we start making this so that way it's just easier to incorporate but I'm gonna get you guys set up and we'll get this started okay guys so I've got everything measured out ready to go um, as before so in this bowl I've got my flour baking powder salt and my pecans like I said you can use any kind of nut that you like or you can leave it out but the reason why I added it to the flour is when I mix it up, it's going to get coated in that flour and it won't sink to the bottom of the pan. In this bowl, I've just got my brown sugar. To that, I'm going to add my vanilla, butter, and my egg. Make sure that's all well combined. And then add the wet to the dry. And then we will get this all combined and mixed well and in the pan. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and put my um, brownie batter in here. I just sprayed the pan with a little bit of oil, lined it with parchment, a little bit more oil just so it's 
proof that it comes out of the pan. Um, so I'm going to bake these at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You want a few crumbs to come out when you stick it with a toothpick. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, so my brownies are in the oven. We're going to let those finish up. In the meantime, my donuts are completely cooled. So we're going to make the glaze. This is everything you're going to need. I've got some powdered sugar here, maple syrup. You can use any kind of maple syrup that you like. Some cream cheese, about two ounces, and some spiced rum. Now this is optional. If you don't want to use a spiced rum, you can opt for a little bit of vanilla and some cream. Um, so that's an option if you don't want to put the spiced rum in there. And I've got a little food coloring. I've got copper here. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit just to make the icing a little bit of an orange color. So I'm going to get this all measured out and then I'll meet you right back here. You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I Okay, so here is my little setup. I've got all of my donuts here. They're completely cool. I've just got them sitting here on my little um, rack. I've got them spaced close together, so that way they're just easier to um, put the glaze on. Now, I put the glaze in a Ziploc bag, so that way I can drizzle it over the top. So I'm just going to take this out, release all of the air, cut. I've got uh, orange food coloring on my finger, but that's fine. Anyways, I'm going to take this out, release all of the air from the bag, snip a small little piece off the end, and then I'm just going to drizzle the icing all over the donuts. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? Okay guys, so here are the donuts. I just did like a little cross hatch pattern on the top. Some look a little bit better than the others, but they're going to taste absolutely amazing. You can also just dunk these in the icing if you want to, but um, just be can uh, careful because the donuts are very tender and light. So just be mindful of that. So these are going to hang out here for a while. I'm going to um, remove the brownies, let them cool a little bit, and then I'm going to cut those into squares. All right, guys. So this is what they look like when they are all done. They are good to go. Here are my pumpkin spice donuts and my butterscotch brownies. These are absolutely just so good. Um, my daughter has already been into them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.